Hello dear friends, study mashe, malgaro, I hope you're doing fine. In the previous video, I taught you some preposition and past position in Pashto. In this video, I'm going to teach you some other preposition and past positions. So, part two. So, let's get started with the first one. The first preposition group is bela. Bela means without. So after the bela, the noun or something is followed. For example, haga bela ma kurtalara, which means she went home without me. Haga bela ma kurtalara. Haga is she. It could also be he because, but here it's she because Lara has the a sound at the end which suggests it's she and bilama which means without me bilama so the ma is followed by bela kurta means to home so example number two the bilata juand nasham kawalei which means I can't live without you. The means I. Bilata means without you. Jwand means life. Nasham kawale means can't do. So Jwand nasham kawale means can't live. And Three further short examples with Bela is, for example, Bela Hatse. Bela Hatse means without effort. Bela Zora means without force. And Bela Malge means without salt. Let's continue with the second preposition past position group, which is the La Kabbalah or the la la mela, which means both because of. And everything comes between the and la capella or la la mela. So, example number one the corona la cabala the bahar nasham which means because of the corona, I can't go outside. So, corona stands between the the and la cabala so it means because of the corona the is i bahar means outside nasham watale means go out and example number two the the traffic gane gune la la mela which means I got late because of traffic jam. And trafiki gana guna, which is traffic jam, changes here to trafiki gane gune with a because in prepositional cases, nouns, some nouns changes, which is another issue we'll deal with later. So, the de trafiki gane gune la la mela. The trafiki gane gune la la mela means because of traffic jam. And trafiki gane gune means traffic jam. Nawakta shwam. Nawakta means late. And shwam means God. And two short examples. The garmai la kabala. The garmai la kabala means because of heat. Garmai means heat. And the shakhsi shakhsi stunzo la la mela, which means because of personal problems. Shakhsi means personal and stunz, stunzo means problems. And stunzo is the oblique form of stunze, problems. And in prepositional case, the plural form of nouns uh, ends with O, as I explained in some of the previous videos. La Prata. 
La Prata means except for or besides. And this consists of la, which is the preposition, and prata, which is the past position. So, example number one, la de prata za balalar nalaram. I don't have another choice except for this. La de prata means except for this. And za means I, balalar means another choice or another way. And nalara means don't have. Second example, la bahir prata har tsuk pa azmoyena ki barialeshu. Which means, except for bahir, la bahir prata, har tsuk means everyone, pa azmoyena ki, pa azmoyena ki means in the exam. And barialeshu means got or became successful. Or here means it to pasmoyana ke barialeshu is the phrase which means to pass an exam, to succeed in an exam. So, and three short examples la badlun prata, which means accept change, la dagayo prata, which means accept this one. And la dare uradze prata, which means except this day. And let's move to the next preposition, which is de la mache, which means according to. For example, de hara waina la mache da habara na shone da. De hara waina la mache, which means according to his words. De hara waina, which means his words or speech. And la mache, so according to his words. Da habara na shone da. This is impossible. Na shone means impossible. And habara is what has been said or mentioned. So. Example number two, de yawe nawe ant ant pochtane la mache, which means according to a new survey, and nawe means a uh, new, yawe means one ant pochtane means survey, and la mache is according to nawi salana khalak, which means 90% of people. The Navi nomand la Tarkavi. Support the new candidate. And to support someone in Pashto is used in possessive case. That's why we need the. Navi nomand means of, of new candidate. La Tarkavi means support. And two short examples is the Mahalwesh la Mache. The Mahalwesh, la mache means according to the schedule, and mahalwesh means schedule. De dara kitab le kwal la mache. De dara kitab le kwal means the author of this book, and le kwal means author, dara kitab this, and the dara kitab le kwal la mache, which means according to the author of this book. And our next and last prepositional group is la sara sara with double sara which means despite for example hara ladiru haludzalu sara sara which means despite many efforts and haludzale haludzalu comes from is the oblique form of halid zali, which means efforts. And so it means paterare uh, means to fail or to remain last, something like that. And it means he failed despite efforts. So ladiru halid zalu sarasara means despite efforts. And next example means Marwa Lastunzu Sarasara, 
Baria Leishwa, which means Marwa succeeded despite problems. So la stunzo sarasara means despite problems. Stunzo is the oblique form of stunze, which means problems. And Marwa is the noun of a girl. And Baria Leishwa means succeeded. And two short examples with despite is Laharab Mosam Sarasara. Laharab Mosam Sarasara means despite the bad weather. And Labadu Azmehtunu Sarasara, which means despite bad experiences. So these were some of the prepositions and past positions in Pashto. I hope you learned something from this video and keep sharing it. Until next time, wish you a good time ahead. Goodbye.